what will communications be like in the 21st century? Today, orbiting satellites like this, spinning high above the Earth, relay signals around the world. Tomorrow, satellites could be the key to a worldwide network of information, education, and entertainment. The age of the communication satellite has just begun. Three communication satellites orbiting at the same speed as the Earth rotates could link any two spots on the globe. Going straight up. And stand by to Super Mexico is on the line. Stand by to wipe to the bird and wipe. In 1945, 12 years before the space age, Arthur C. Clarke offered a plan that proved to be prophetic. Uh, as you know, I'm rather bugged on communication satellites since I've been it's exactly 21 years ago that I wrote the um, basic paper on the synchronous communication satellite. So it's quite a lusty baby now. And this is going to revolutionize global communications because it's going to make the world one village. I think, was it Marshall McLuhan used the phrase, the global village? Uh, I'm looking forward with great interest to uh, direct broadcasting from ComSats. This was really my original, pro uh, my original suggestion, uh, broadcasting direct into the home from large communication satellites, not going through the local ground stations. This will be technically possible, certainly within five years. Whether it will be economically possible is another question, but it will be technically possible. And then you'll be able to tune in to Russian, Chinese, European broadcast TV direct, wherever you are. Well, the effect of this is going to be tremendous in both directions. It means that we can talk to the Chinese and they can talk to us and nobody on the other side can stop it. But when you look very far ahead, then you have a sort of competition between transportation and communication. As communications improve out of all, all recognition, so that in your own home you can have instant access through possibly ultimately all the senses, not just vision and hearing, to any remote spot on Earth, or, uh, or in space for that matter, the reason for physical transportation will diminish, except purely for pleasure. And I can see a great decline, almost to the vanishing point, in business transportation and a great increase in pleasure transportation. 